if you have been, um, if you've lived in this town for as long as I have, and, and if you've been, um, uh, if you've been single or dating in this town for a long time, you will have absurd stories. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, this absurd story is called uh, the story of Yay Guy and Vinny Short Arms. <laughs> right. So um, so this is I think it was probably like in, in like you know the the aughts. Um, I was young, younger, and uh, and I had a friend coming in from out of town, uh, from California. And what do you do when you have a friend coming in from out of town? You show them a good time. You take them to the coolest spot there is. You take them to the East Village. You take them to a dive bar, maybe one owned by a Russian lady who, like, who has a jukebox and has a sweet pinball table and um, and sells uh, Stella Artois or uh, Belgian Truth Serum um, for cheap, right? Right? So that's what I did. I thought, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite my friend to, to Lucy's. So I roll up to the bar. I get there before my friend shows up, um, and I feel I'm looking in the back, you know, the mirror of the of the bar, and I'm thinking, I look good. I look really good. My hair is, you know, down. I'm wearing makeup. I have a cute outfit on. I'm feeling myself, and um, and as it as it turns out, I'm sitting there as I'm sitting there admiring myself. Um, <laughs> guy rolls up and he sits down next to me and I'm like oh, all right cool you know he's cute he's you know got glasses and sandy uh, blonde hair and freckles actually I'm describe strangely describing myself right now and it sounds like <laughs> kind of creepy but anyway um, so so ultimately uh, this guy sits down and we're having a good time we're talking he's talking about how like he and he's he makes me laugh uh, he was talking about how uh, he was on uh, um, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, like made a made a you know a, a small appearance on that show, and and I am tickled by this. I've seen the show, and that is what passes for social currency in my world at the time. I know, and so um, so ultimately we're having a good time. But my friend shows up, and so he makes a discreet exit. Sean does, and I sit and I hang out with my friend for a while. My friend gets up to go to the bathroom. Sean re-enters the picture and he says to me, hey, do you want to come with me to a birthday party on the Lower East Side? And I am, I am sad, teardrop, um, because uh, I, I, can't, I can't lose my friend. Uh, you know, he's in to see me from California. So I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I can't. He's like, well, can you, well, why don't you give me your number um, and, and I'll give you a call. There are so many ways that proper responses to this question. Um, I could have, you know, played it cool and just been like, "Yeah, great, yeah, here's my number." Or I could have been like tough and, and kind of said, "Why don't you give me your number and I'll call you?" Um, you know, I, I I could have done any number of things in this situation. I could have just said, "Oh yeah, that'd be really nice." Instead, what I do is this. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, even now I have PTSD about this moment. <laughs> Horrible flashbacks. Um, so, so <laughs> strangely enough, um, yeah, I see it all happen before me. He takes the number on his sweet Motorola Philip phone, and and then he absconds. And um, and you'll be surprised to hear this, but he does not call me back. Um, yeah, and and for several weeks after this, I'm you know a little I'm a little sad. I'm I'm you know I see it going slow motion in my head. Yay! <laughs> but um, time time heals all wounds, all stupid wounds, and so a year later, a year passes, and um, yeah, and I've forgotten about this this tragedy. And I go to the movies with my friend uh, Lainey, and uh, Lainey, we get out of the we get out of the movie, and she's like, "Oh, let's go out, let's go out." And I'm like, "Ah, oh, it's raining, New York." Like after the like, I'm, I have the perfect rainy New York night movies outfit on. I have my hair in pigtails. I've got a tweed flat cap on. This weird nubbly sweater with a hood. Um, it is it is not attractive. I do not feel like my best self in that moment. And she's like, "Come on, we gotta go out." And I'm like, "Oh, I don't want to. Maybe a dive bar." And we both look at each other and we're like. Lucy's. So we roll into Lucy's and uh, and yeah, we're sitting at the bar and she's like, oh man, the last time I was here, I kinda I made out with this Polish guy in the back in, in the back of the bar. And uh, and I was like, oh cool. Um, the last time I was at this bar, and then I tell her the story of the yay and the jumping and the embarrassment. Uh, and 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 she's like, ah, I wonder if this guy is gonna be here tonight. And I'm like, oh, 
I wonder if that guy is gonna be here tonight. <laughs> sure enough, yes, foreshadowing. Um, <laughs> so Polish guy walks into the bar and um, he actually, they don't lock eyes or anything, but she's like, oh my God, he's here. Um, oh, okay, great. All of a sudden I'm starting to get really nervous. Um, more people enter the bar, we're hanging out in the middle of the bar and all of a sudden um, I look towards the door, the door opens and sure enough, you got Sean walking through the door. And Sean has a friend with him, shorter guy, dark hair, um, and, uh, and they are walking with great purpose towards me. <laughs> yes, that is the proper response. Oh shit. <laughs> and, uh, and he walks towards me and he looks me in the eye and he has a paper uh, underneath, his, underneath his arm and he rips it out and he's like, hey, um, you want me to tell you your horoscope? What's your sign? And I was like, oh my god, wait a minute, what year am I in? Okay, uh, is it the 70s? No, no, no. Okay, great. Uh, and, uh, but, and then the next, the next thought is, oh my god, does he recognize me? And I'm like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm like, Sh I play along with it. I'm like, sure, um, sure, I'm a Leo. He opens the paper, he ripples through to the horoscope, and literally the first words out of his mouth are, you will experience a sense of deja vu. <laughs> no joke, I did not make this up. And I'm like, what's happening right now? Um, and, and so I'm like, no, 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 give that to me. I want to see the paper, give me the paper. And so I, you know, I look at the paper and sure enough, that is exactly what it says. Um, and and so, so I'm, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this and, uh, and I'm like, uh, you know, trying to tug on, on, Lainey's, uh, on, on Lainey's cuff and, and she's not, picking this up because she is shooting hearts out of her eyeballs um, at this guy Vinny. And I'm like, oh no, what's happening? So <laughs> ultimately, um, some more conversation ensues and I think maybe I'm incognito, the hat, the pigtails, whatever, it's throwing the guy off. Um, but he looks to me and he says, hey, do you guys want to come to a birthday party with us on the Lower East Side? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! I like, I like. He knows. Um, and so I'm like, <sighs> you know, and like, kind of making all the motions. And Lady is not picking it up at all because she is like, you know, head over heels, uh, you know, with this guy Benny, right? So um, she's like, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. And I'm like, don't, I don't wanna go. And she's like, come on, come on, I really like him. Ah! And and there's no way to kind of get away from the situation. And I I I relent. I'm like, all right, this is my life. I'm going on this weird journey with you to the Lower East Side to a birthday party that I should have gone to a year ago. Um, so we're walking uh, down the, uh, you know, we're walking down, I'll probably, it was probably First Avenue actually. Was it First Avenue or Avenue A? Um, where was the, uh, the bar, the library? Okay. Yeah, A, right? So, um, so, so Sean, like, I think he's clocked me. And he runs into the library He's at, for a PBR break. And I'm like, uh, okay, he totally knows now, right? So we go and sit down, and, and, and but no, he doesn't know, and then we kind of veer out, and we have to keep going on the journey, and, and finally I get to pull Lainey aside, I'm like, hey, hey, this thing is happening, how could you do this? How could you be so insensitive? This is the worst thing ever. And she's like, oh, I didn't know, I'm so sorry, but let's go anyway. Cool, um, so, so we finally roll into, the bar on the Lower East Side, and um, and I'm pretty sure the guy knows who I am because he's not paying attention anymore. And Vinny and Lainey are together, and I'm sitting at the bar, you know, nursing my beer and thinking, when will it be over? Um, but at least he's not here. Sure enough, I look over, and he's there, and he's like, "Hey, can I put your hat on?" And I'm like, N "No." No, I mean like he's kind of looking underneath it. I'm again pretty sure that he's trying to like clock me, and, and I'm like, no, no, you can't. And I've got hat head. No, 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 you can't. And he's he apparently has had a, a, num a number of drinks in this moment, and he's like, no, 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 come on, you really have to. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And I'm starting to feel really smug. I've got an idea. I'm like, I will give you my hat if you take off your shirt. <laughs> and I'm smug. I'm looking into my beer thinking, my life has just improved, this is over now. And then I hear people laughing. And I look over, and there he is, kind of, ta-da! You know, with no shirt on, you know, like, just, you know, yes. He, he is uh, in flagrante, and uh, ultimately everybody is laughing, and I have to give him my hat. So he's this guy who's got you know naked down to the pants, like with uh, a hat on, and 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 that night kind of continues. But I, I kind of pull the escape hatch, um, and ultimately um, 
later, uh, it turns out like the epilogue is that my uh, friend Lainey ends up dating Vinny um, for a couple months, and I make her promise, um, beg her not to say anything to him about the situation because I don't, I, I don't know why it was so important to me at the time. And she's like, it's okay. And I was really, I was really glad um, when she finally broke up with him because my story would never be heard. Um, and and uh, and and you know, there were a number of reasons, but she did why she broke up with him. But she was like, oh, I don't know. I think, I think he's kind of got T-Rex arms. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> we are so young. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, but but fine, okay, good, whatever the reason is, and uh, and ultimately, um, uh, yeah. So basically, I feel like the moral of the story, and there's so many of them, but the the, the moral I took away was that um, ultimately there are a lot of people, no matter like the stupid ass things that you say, there's always going to be somebody doing something far stupider here. So um, that is my story of Ye Guy and Benny Shorter. So thank you. <laughs>